Welcome back to Eden Chronicles 100 Heroes. In the last episode, we recruited some characters and we also advanced the storyline some as well. We went to the palace of... Was it Hish, Hishan? Hishan. Yeah, the palace of Hishan. And we met... Uh, four Yeah, four characters there. I'm assuming we'll be able to recruit those four characters later. Um, and yeah, we, we recruited the accessory shop. Oh yeah. I want to go to the builder person. We recruited the accessory shop character at the end of the last episode. So we can go ahead and make the accessory shop now, but I didn't, maybe I already did. I might've already done it. We're going to recruit the library person in this episode. Nope, here it is right here. Build the accessory shop. Take 1,600 funds to build it. Only 10 population though. Shimmering splendor. But I'm still not sure what even... I'm not even sure what the population does. I'm assuming it... Increases how much money you get, I guess. But I can't... I can't confirm that. I'm not sure. I'm assuming the more population, the more money you get, but... I don't know. But yeah, the kingdom building in this game... Well, king headquarters building in this game is very similar to... Nino Kuni 2, if you ever played that. Very similar. Here's the armor shop here. And if you don't know how the shops work in the headquarters, if you haven't played the Suikening games, if my controller would stop messing up, that'd be great. Basically, the shops in the headquarters have everything that you've seen throughout the game. So if you've seen a piece of armor that you could buy from other, other armor shops, it'll be here. So... For example, the armor we saw in Wernie Village will be here. The armor armor we saw in uh, Aaron's side will be here. You know, basically every piece of armor that we've seen in shops will be here. So, here's the accessory shop over here. Moderately increases fire resistance, okay. Oh, I thought the... I, I saw a ribbon, I was like, does it protect you against all status elements? No, it doesn't. <laughs> this isn't Final Fantasy. Alright, anyway, in this episode, first thing we're going to do is recruit the librarian. So we need to head to the Great Woods South, I believe. Right. And remember, she said she lost something from one of the witches in this area. We need to fight. We need to get to a battle with one of those witch enemies, and it has to have a chest. If it doesn't have a chest, we flee. And we just need to keep getting the battles against the witches over and over again until it, until it has a chest. Let's do this. Not the enemy we're looking for. These are not the Jedi's you were looking for. Use the Jedi mind trick on them. I want use the Jedi mind trick to get nothing but witches every time. That'd be nice. Let's do this. 
do this. Wait. Huh? The chest is already open. I wonder if we already have the item we need. Huh. Weird. I think I already have the item that I need. Huh, weird. Let's go find out if I do. Because it was already, o the chest was already open. You can't open it a second time. So I might already have the item. I should have talked to her a second time. Noah! Hello! Did you happen to find the... Yep. This is it, right? it thank you so much this was a gift from a friend of mine they moved far away but when we parted ways we promised that we'd reunite one day as students at the university of carl oh i am so very grateful i i don't know if this will suffice as a reward but I ask you to accept me as a comrade. I will do what little I can to aid you as the Alliance Librarian. My guitar is going haywire. Welcome to the ranks. Oh, I... I will do my very best. Oh, to be nestled in a quiet nook surrounded by books. How delightful it will be. I cannot wait to provide the wonders of literature to the Alliance. I do hope you and your other comrades will be pleased. My cousin came online. Well, he's coming online on a Tuesday. He's so busy working, he doesn't even ever come online. I just doxed my cousin on, on the video. You guys know my cousin. You guys know my cousin's first and last name now. It's his own fault for logging in, though, so that's on him. <laughs> and you can make that setting private, too, or I wouldn't be able to see it. So, that's on him. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, build the library here.
Any mystic lumber as well to build it. I need to give her the old books as well. I'm not going to read them right now, though. We'll read them later. This is wonderful. A dire beast bone. No clue where the library is even at. Maybe we could teleport to it. Nope. Just have to find it. That's definitely isn't it. Finish your ranking, lifesaver ranking. Also, many enemies the characters have KO'd. Yeah, turn my AC on here. I'll go ahead and light. What is this place? Oh, just a random room. What is this place over here? Oh, that's the random storeroom. So Bean's there. Just chilling out. Guess I'll go downstairs. Oh, this just leads to the dungeon. I wonder if we can, we'll probably be able to recruit him later, or it's one. Usually those people that, again, that get in prison in the Swickening games, like Sonia, Sonia Shulin from part one, you can usually recruit them, so. And there's a person you capture in part four as well. Okay, here's a library right here. Using the library, you can peruse a few different resources in the library. Enemy guide, info on defeated enemies, fish guide, info on cult fish, old books, give to Mary et to be able to read them. Okay. That book off your hands. Can't wait to dive in. Welcome. I think only 166 enemies. It's kind of low amount. The Final Fantasy games are like 300, almost all of them. And there's 19 bosses in the game. Spoiler. So we have 14 bosses left. And my controller. Relax. There's a total of 52 different fish. And now it's a rarity of four and I caught one. Got two rarity of four fishes. I'll read these books later. 
There's 20 of them. Which is more than Suikoden. A lot of the Suikoden games only have like 10. Um, so this has a lot more. I guess at this point we'll go back to the main storyline because I don't know who else we can recruit. I was going to turn my AC on, but I, oh, there's my remote right there. You guys are going to be able to hear the AC in the background. Take a walk in the palace courtyard, okay. Hopefully none of the characters in this game are missable, by the way. I'll talk to that person here in a minute. Let's look around first. Yoshido Longpeak, Aldea, Northstar, Keenan. Keenan and Kel? No. How many more can peace between us truly last? And what will become of Hishon. I'll piece the last if it's just Keenan, but if Kel's involved as well, then we might have we might have some problems. All right, now we'll talk to this person. Say, uh, you're the fellow from the Alliance, right? Uh, don't get me wrong, I, I wasn't eavesdropping on the conference. I just, uh, ha happened to catch that one little part. Who are you? Oh, oops, <laughs> silly me. Um, I'm Yulin, King Yuma's handmaid. So, um... Please, don't think ill of his majesty. I know people call him indecisive, but they've got him all wrong. He's a very kind ruler, you see, and he worries about making decisions that lead to people getting hurt. Yeah, he definitely seems like that type of person. But uh, he's getting... The other guy that's with him is trying to manipulate him into doing bad things or whatever. Anyway, we gotta go in here. Where have you been? We should return to the inn at once so I can continue brooding about a solution to this problem. Do you think there even is a solution? Well, I guess we could... Wait, no, sorry, I got nothing. Countess Periel, His Majesty Yuma is here to speak with you. May I open the door? Of course. Please, enter. Hello, Periel. I had a little extra time and was hoping I could see you. I'm most pleased you've come to visit. I only wish it could have been for one of our usual goodwill summits, instead of this most unfortunate situation. Oh, um, yes, of course. I'm terribly sorry about your country. Your name is Noah, yes? Did you rise up to fight for Pariel's sake? I rose up to stop the Empire. Oh, you don't say. Not for me? Oh, such a pity. Huh? 
But never mind that, Yuma. Let me ask you something. Not as the Countess of Groom, but as someone you've known since we were both small. What do you intend to do? Will you fight? Or will you place your trust in Dukes Aldrich? Well, I, uh, I just... The truth is, um, I don't know what the right choice is. If you stay the course your advisors are laying for you, you Chris will be at the Empire's mercy. No, worse, at the Duke's. But if we fight and lose, my people will fare far worse. Perhaps, um, the Duke's made a mistake in attacking your country. If so, you could maybe still talk it out? <sighs> Uh, your Majesty, you're gonna be late for your next... Oh, is it that time already? I'm sorry, Periel. We'll continue this later. Countess Grom, Commander Noah, I bid you both good day. Ugh, same old Yuma. He never changes. We need to find some way to help make up his mind. Come on, people. Ideas! Uh, sorry, but I'm not much of an ideas man. Hmm... Nope, still nothing. But let's think while we walk. Maybe some exercise will knock a good idea loose. Not the worst plan I've ever heard. If I must! All right, more walking, less talking, I guess. Where we gotta go now? Okay, we gotta leave the palace area. We need to go over to the southwest. Oh, who do we have here? A new character. Let's talk to him. Looks like a drunk. Some good booze. Tastes even better on a day like this. Excuse me, are you the famous spearman Ryufan? I heard talk of your exploits in town. Well, if the likes of you have heard of me, then I suppose I must be famous. I am currently seeking stalwart companions. Can I interest you in joining the Alliance? You wish to be companions, lad? I don't suffer fools who are weaker than I. If you wish to face me and find out if that includes your sorry self, well... Ah, normally I'd give you a thrashing, lad, but I'd hate to see you trip and twist a finger or something. Come back when you're less of a weedy rock. Okay, so that basically means we need to be higher level to recruit him. That's basically what that meant. My god, my... I still have to beat that one person at Bagoma. Lemon honey pickles recipe. That's weird. Maybe it's a Japanese thing though. Maybe I shouldn't say it's weird. What do we have over here? Another character, I think. Uh, wh uh, what the heck? Huh? Who's that? <laughs> wow. I can't 
believe you spotted me. Hmm, that's impressive to me. Listen, whatever you do, just don't try to drag me out of this bag, okay? If you even think about it, I'll get really, really mad. I'm not trapped in here or anything. It's just so comfy. Why would I ever want to leave? I make magical store packs, you see. And some guy was so desperate for one that he kept trying to yank me out and steal mine. So naturally I ran away. And now here I am. You know, if you happen to have a, a safe, not full of thieves place for me to work, I'd be happy to snuggle down there and handle all your bag making needs. So, uh, any questions? Comments? Compliment? Join us. <laughs> I totally nailed that negotiation. My name's Nell, by the way. If you need a sack, that's just my bag. Get it? Okie doke. I'll head over to your... All right, so if you don't know what that is, um, the stove packs were in Eden Chronicles, Eden Chronicles Rising, and essentially this is going to increase our bag size, so we're going to immediately take advantage of that if we can. Okay, we can make this too. Let's reshop merch one. Mission Guild. Oh yeah, I need... Racing stables, interesting. Mm, build hot spring. I don't see the... I thought I saw it before, but... I don't see the one that increases... The stow pack. I could have sworn I saw it earlier, though. When I was going through these. But I guess I was wrong, because I don't see it now. It doesn't exist. Heroes Den renovation? I could get that. So I guess this upgrades the heroes. Wait, what did that do? Oh, upgraded the inn, okay. Oh, there's a stove pack thing right there. But we need a rune shop person first, which I don't even know who he, who he is. Huh, <laughs> lovely. I gotta find that person. Oh well, figure it out later. 
Let's see if there's anybody else in the town because we're starting to find new people now. Come on, controller, stop. It's getting annoying. Well, that's a bit too expensive. Foreign clothes, 800. Well, speaking of that, we can go back to the other place and sell those. The Twin Horn East. Good place to sell those. Okay. Huh. Trading. Yeah, it's in here. Wait, how much did I buy pearls for? I think I bought them for cheaper than that. Eight hundred. I thought I could make more from these. Rug. Crystal ore. Yeah, I think I'm fourteen fifty five. Let's see if I can sell for more somewhere else. I forget what areas I'm trading posts though. Um Oh, you can check on here. No trading posts there. Aaron side doesn't have one either. No trading posts there. This place does, the Warney Village has a trading post. We'll see how much we can get for this stuff there. Ooh, 1600 here. For a lot. Yeah, I'm going to do that, I think. Or should I wait and see if someone else, somewhere else has it even better? I don't have a uh, training post on my place yet. Oh, the Tree Folk Village, maybe we can sell it for more. Probably going to end the episode here soon anyway. I'm going to try to cut my videos down to like th 30 minutes instead of 50. Uh, or an hour. I think it's too long. Okay, they sell for sixteen hundred here too. I have no clue if I made profit off any of those items or not, but
So mark up means they sell for more, right? I, I'm, I'm co really confused if, if it's opposite. It might be opposite. Maybe you're supposed to buy the ones with blue. I've always been buying the ones that are like lower because I figure that's what you're supposed to do, right? Because that's the discount, right? I'll have to look that up later. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe it's the opposite. Oh yeah, we'll go ahead and sell the pearls. Over here. There we go, we made 5,000 profit. Because we had 12,000, I remember. But after selling everything, we had now 17,000. Alright, I'm going to go to the end and save it. And then we'll end the video. Oops, I didn't mean to leave. I hate when that happens in S that happens in Suikoden too. I remember that happening in Suikoden all the time. Especially in Suikoden 3. It was very common in Suikoden 3 for that to happen. Where you'd enter a zone and then you'd you'd enter the other zone. Alright, that'll be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Later.